is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, <coughs> the house of David. All right, so Brother Haran coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be, ed to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, you know, I want to go into this article here. All right, and uh, today is, uh, what's that? October 21st. All right, 2022, okay, the year where Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai turns up. All right, and uh, this article that I have here, <clears throat> all right, to show you <clears throat> how close we are to this this uh, this thing being uh, fulfilled. And when I say this thing, I'm talking about the last major prophecy, okay, that the, the house of David were waiting for, okay, the hopeful elect, all right, because that major, the last major prophecy is, all right, uh, that, that, that last prophecy that brings the destruction of Babylon the Great. Okay, so that's what we're waiting for. All right, and that prophecy is, is talking about that that um, mandatory global mandatory implementation of the MOTB. Okay, now this article I'm about to get into is dated January fifth. Okay, January fifth, twenty twenty one. All right, so that was over a year ago. All right, so think of what what we're about to read, and think of what they've been able to do over the past year, year and a half. To see how far we are in the system okay it says biometric atms and remote payment systems expanding around the world systems set for uh set for growth in russia mexico pakistan argentina india and south africa biometric banking and financial services of various kinds are making headlines around the world with legal and regu regulatory changes in russia and mexico Pushes for biometric ATMs in Pakistan and Argentina, and uh, ad ad uh, ad har uh, authentication substituting for ATMs in India. Uh, Buguru sees the trend increasing to meet regulatory needs, and Idemia, all right, and Idemia is a uh, one of these companies that's uh, part partnered with uh, the World Economic Forum. All right. Uh, in order to bring about this whole biometric uh, system, which is known as the system of the beast. OK, the beast system is all biometrics, is all technology merged with with uh, with humans. OK, that is the, the so-called beast system. OK, so it says here, um, <clears throat> uh, it says an idemia has expanded a relationship with South with a South African bank. OK. It says, at the same time, new statistics from IDC show artificial intelligence is a top investment area for the financial services sector in the Asia-Pacific region, with spending set to grow by a CAR, I mean CAGR of 22.1% from two, 2019 to 2024 to reach uh, $4.29 billion. According to Chat, uh, Channel Life Australia, so like it says, the banking sector is the largest uh, investor in AI in the region, and it represents 15% of global spending on the on the technologies. Okay, so a lot of these countries, not only are they spending on on uh, on the military, all right, uh, uh, some type of um, uh, police force, all right, but also they're investing a lot more in the technology. Okay, so a lot of these um, businesses and, and companies, all right, pretty much. Are, are merging with these governments major governments okay to to, to police their uh so-called jurisdictions whether it's a city whether it's a state whether it's a country whatever it is you have ai technology being merged all right into social life so soon you're going to start seeing robot dogs and and these are all things that you know you have people who used to write about these things you know people wrote about these things when you read books like uh um, a brave new world all right by george orwell okay uh no uh brave new world was by uh aldous huxley Salakia. okay and uh, 1984 is by george orwell and we're seeing those things that they talked about okay you read a, a book called uh science and technology by uh bertrand russell and he also goes into that okay they go into the whole so-called depopulation 
the reason why they do it and so on and so forth and the reason why uh science and technology is going to be the downfall of humanity okay we're seeing all those things happen now okay we're seeing all those things happen now because it's through science and technology that they're gonna so-called enslave humanity and change how humans really operate and their their very design of that technology they've told you within the design this is the structure this is what we this is the, the end goal okay the end goal is you own nothing and you'll be happy and in order for us to get there we have to destroy the system that you have all this abundance you you have a you own a tv you own a car right you own yourself your own thoughts they said it they said you're not going to have those free will thoughts where oh i, I want to go to the grocery store i want to buy this those days are he said those those days are over <laughs> he said that's over see so now they're going to track everything through this whole climate change we need to bring in technology that can uh, uh, uh um you know make things more streamlined you know do away with all this carbon all right and let's let's do more green energy so we can save the planet so that means you got to sacrifice in order for the greater good to be able to be a thing you see sacrifice for the greater good all right and they're gonna do that through what uh they call it um inoculations okay when you read the protocols of of, of zion is written in there that you you through inoculations you get you're gonna get the the mass population about 75 percent of the global population sick perpetually sick and then what you're gonna do after that is at their once they're down to their knees then you come in with a new system you sweep out the weak and then you instill this new system and then the rest are enslaved okay and it's all being done through technology all right it says russia legislators approve expansion of unified biometric system all right it says russia's state duma has approved the country's unified biometric system ubs for remote identification to a broad range of remote services from financial institutions and government agencies state publication task reports the ubs can now be used for carrying out remote account onboarding and loan applications with biometrics at banks with basic licenses which are now obligated to collect customer biometric data as well as banks with universal licenses what is that what is what is all this all these things what does it lead into russia is doing it australia is doing it africa somewhere in, <laughs> countries in africa doing it okay and it's all going through a, a cashless system okay and guess what um there's a video that i saw earlier today uh is this like ai this ai technology shit and they got this uh zelensky guy and he's he's there and what he's doing is, is basically like propaganda right so the next propaganda they're processing that now whatever it is that they're going to be pushing soon to get people's uh, um people's consent all right to take more of their rights all right whatever propaganda they're setting that shit up now and it's going to lead into world war three because now they have uh Zelensky going on uh this hologram thing and he's he's making a speech he's giving a speech talking about these are uh this technology we can use to 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 convince the world why we need a war he said that i'm like what the fuck like you know it's like we we can use this technology to convince the world why we need a new world order why we need a cashless society why we need to have implants basically okay and i'm like yo this is crazy and that reminded me of uh revelation 13 verse uh, i believe 15 was it 14 i think 14 where it says as a matter of fact let's get that real quick okay let's get that uh revelation chapter 13 and verse uh 14 it says and and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by his by his sword and did live okay so he in in the video low if i could find the video i'll i'll put it in the post edits if not i'll i'll, I'll upload it separately all right and um he was saying it that the countries people have to come together nations got to come together we all got to come to come together and basically put up this image you know he said have a cashless society have everybody in some type of um a uh, uh, digital world you have your digital id which co counts for everything your whole existence is going to be digital now you see and i'm like oh shit they're, they're using the technology that the miracles right there the hologram and all this shit you know 
to convince people, to deceive them, deceive the world, to think, oh my God, look, look what's going on. We need to do this. Save Ukraine. Oh Lord. You see? But anyway, let's go back to the article. It says, um, so now we, we, we understand what, what Russia is, is, uh, is, is working on. So let's go to Mexico. All right. To show you that this thing is all global. It says banks in Mexico given March deadline for customer biometrics. Tax code changes challenged. It says Mexico's National Bank and Stock Commission has given banks in the, in the country until March to register biometric data for their clients to avoid administrative sanctions, reports, explica. The rule was originally scheduled to take effect at the end of August 2020, uh, 2018, but banks requested an extension. That delay was extended again when the C-19 pandemic struck. Banks, uh, and, 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 and guess what? That C-19 pandemic was just to speed up this process for all the other countries to partake in this thing. Okay? Because it would take 2018, and then the next thing you know, 2025, then they... Nah, nah, fuck that. We don't got time for that. Let's kick this thing going. All right? Break down everything. Put everyone on hold. And they said it. They said, if... I believe... What's this guy's name? The, the Black Pope. All right? <laughs> he said it. He said, if people's behavior does not change after this this uh c19 demic he said well the next one he said the next one will be worse that's what he said so they they have plans they, they don't worry they got plans for people they say if your behavior your attitude does not change after what we've done the next one is going to be, be don't worry we, we got you we got something more okay so that's that's a we're in, the, in that spirit of uh of judgment okay the red horse he takes he, he takes peace out of the earth all right revelation 6 Okay, so um, let's go down. It says, uh, critics, let me see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's jump right here. It says, um, banks are free to choose their own biometric technology partner. One option for financial institutions is a partnership with the National Elect Electoral Institute, which holds and can share biometric records with a bank or, or pool of banks. Okay. So whose biometric uh, records are being shared among with these banks? The people. Okay. Bio meaning what? Your, uh, life or body. And metric is a, is a form of measurement. Okay. So when you when you scan your finger, that's that's a form of measurement. It, it, it decides, okay, where who is this person? Your height. Your, everything pops up when you, when, you, when you get scanned. Okay. And all that technology, all that information, which is what goes into the, the graphos. Okay. In that, in that, um, in the, in the, in the charagma, that's that. That Graphos is talking about the information, the data, okay? Your data, your biometric records, that's your data, okay? But this time, what they're going to do is they'll put it all in the system, which can be tracked or uploaded and downloaded once you're implanted with that, with that RFID uh, technology, okay? You become one with the technology. They can scan you, your phone, you can scan your, your hand, and it's like scanning a, a QR code. A whole bunch of information pops up. That's Graphos, man. Okay, so what the hell are these niggas talking about? These other camps talking about, oh, the, the MOTB is not the RFID technology. What, what, what are you talking about, bro? What planet are you on? Don't you see what the hell is going on? Hmm? And it's all leading. What's the number one thing that's partnered with this whole MOTB technology? Money. Banks. Just like John saw. That no man might buy or sell. So the new system is going to be uh, pushed based on biometric data. Okay? And radio frequency identification. If you're not down with the system, you can't buy or sell, period. And that's the fulfillment of that prophecy. Okay. It says, uh, the country's top seven banks, however, have already adopted biometric client verifications. <laughs> and this is back in, uh, was it 2021? This is, this article came out in 2021, but this thing regarding Mexico was back in 2018. Okay. So from 2018 till now, imagine what kind of progress they've made. Okay, that, that's being, you know, it's not being really talked about until the time comes. Okay, it says, uh, let's jump to, it says, biometric ATMs come into Pakistan for bank services, social welfare. You hear that? Social credit system, right? <laughs> um, it says, Pakistan's, um, Pakistan has launched a, a biometric ATM at a military rec recreational facility in Karachi, according to a press release. The ATM is located in the Airmen Golf Club and Recreational Park, 
but um bank bank islami has more than 340 branches as well over it is well over 100 oh it's like it, it means they put is but i guess the word is in well over 100 cities okay so they, they they spread in this thing they're setting the system up right now as we speak okay and <laughs> it's crazy how it's, it's happening because it's it's actually taking place every day policies are changing they're making updates oh due to the c19 we've come up with this new thing so that new that c19 created a whole bunch of new policies those are the foundations that they set so guess what when the system collapses and they they come back with a new system which is going to be all digital the policies stand so now you come into the bank oh um, i have this this and that i'd like to make a transaction well the bank policy says that if you're not this this and that you're not allowed to do this we don't have no more cards you can't use your phone no more this and that that's it we're, we're moving on we're cashless now <laughs> at that point you hear cashless is over with that means your card is, is no more in existence okay it's not gonna work you ever went to an ATM and then you swipe your card and it doesn't work? You get error, error code or code or whatever, error, error, error. Yeah, that's what's going to be happening. So now you have a card that says that you have money in your account, but you just can't use it. Uh-huh. So then the reality starts kicking in. Okay. It says biometric ATMs arrive in Argentina. So these new ATMs that are arriving soon, they'll just turn off the, 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 the chip reader, the card reader, I should say. Okay. And then they'll, they'll initiate QR code reading. All right. Um, it says at har payment system catching up to ATM use in rural areas. Uh, Buguru argues for behavioral biometric to meet bank compliance requirements. That word compliance is back again. That uh, it says what? That no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. You know what I'm saying? So those who comply to take it, they're the ones who go and receive those access and those benefits. It says IDEMIA to secure ID verification for contactless debit card ish issuance. Let's hear some more of this. This is, this is the key right here. South Africa's Time Bank has selected IDEMIA's technology to help it secure the insurance or issuance of contactless debit cards. What the f what does that mean? Contactless, contactless debit cards. We, we, we have debit cards now. I'm literally just talking about that. We have debit cards now, but the technology now is contactless. So you're not going to be using your debit card, all right, to be swiping because that's contact. What is a contactless debit card? One that you don't have to use to touch anything, swipe or insert. You could just scan, put your hand over it and you're good to go. That's your next debit card. Your debit card is going to be in your hand. Okay. It says, um, so Idemia technology to help it secure the is issuance of contactless debit cards with identity verification to South Africa's ID numbers. Customers can apply to uh, for contactless time bank debit cards at self-service kiosks located at pick and pay and boxer stores. Identity verification is intended to prevent identity fraud. Ooh, here we go. That's the sales pitch. Okay. These, these, these are the benefits. These are the reasons why everyone must be chipped. <laughs> okay. So that no one can steal your identity. Like, that's a thing. Who goes around stealing people's identity? Like, uh, is that really a cause for concern in today's... Like, people really... Ask the average person, yo, are you really worried about your identity being stolen? Is that really something you worry about every day when you wake up? Nigga, I'm worried about paying my rent. That's what I'm worried about. Shit, fuck uh, identity theft. Nigga, nobody cares about that. Most people don't care about that. But they'll make you care about that. You see? Problem, reaction, solution. All right, they have the solution. So now, now you're about to start seeing people getting their identity stolen. Cyber attacks, all kinds of shit. Oh, shit, look what's going on. See, this is why we need this technology. Esau, man, damn. It says, identity verification is intended to prevent identity fraud, which has been estimated to cost $1 billion or cost 1 billion rand to the South African economy since the pandemic, the, the pandemic began. At the same time, three quarters of South Africans are adopting contactless payments to prevent the spread of the novel. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, cool. Time Bank is already using Idemia technology to onboard roughly 120,000 customers each month, according to the announcement. 
Okay? So there you have it, man. Okay? There you have it. The technology is being built. The system is already there. Now, when it's time, guess what? It's going to be unveiled. It's going to be revealed to the world. And at that point, you're going to have to make that decision. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Okay? And that time is coming. That hour of temptation, okay, is coming. Okay? It's coming, man. And um, let's see. Let get a quick precept. And we're going to close it out. <laughs> All right? That hour of temptation is coming, man. This is the, the, the time we've all been waiting for. Okay? All this all this while and this truth, you've been preparing for that time. Because if you make it through that time, you're going to see your house shy. Okay? And you're going to be on his right-hand side. You're going to be on his good side if you make it through. All right? But if you don't, well, you already know. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. And what is the word of his patience? This truth. Okay? Having the faith and the promise. Every day we wake up, the kingdom, the kingdom, the kingdom. Believing on these prophecies. This is what's guided us all this while. Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay, so that is the word of his patience, man. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And we're fast approaching that hour, that time. Okay, and we're going to see a lot of people that we know who are going to fall just like they did over the past two years. We saw it. They demonized us. They made us seem like we are the ones who are crazy, but we knew exactly where we were going. Okay, not once did we ever waver or think twice about it because it was the spirit of the Lord that kept us just like he said he's going to keep us again when the time comes. You see, everybody else was bugging out. Oh, what are we going to do? I'm losing my job. But for us, it was like, nah, we stand for something greater than just having jobs. This is life and death. This means something. This is a test from the most high and he's going to help us pass that test. Okay, when you special or when you when you own or, or have possess something special you do everything in your power to protect it and what we have is this truth you do everything in your power to protect it even if you have to lose your life for it that's what it means to be of the elect okay that's why how i said if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect but it's not possible okay so if you're of the elect you're in you're, you're in good case how has given us a promise here revelation 3 and 10 i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So Yahushua is going to have to step in and intervene on the behalf of the, of the elect. That means it's going to be some very tough times. Okay? The temptation is going to be at an all-time high. All right? Temptation meaning what? Being pushed, being pushed and put in a situation where you have to make a decision. Okay? A hard, tough decision, but it's more towards sin. Being tempted, being, uh, um, you know, enticed to sin. And what is that enticement? That, 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 that you know what? That impl impl implementation or implantation, I should say. Okay? That's going to be the test. You know? Having to uh, 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 go through life, you know, without being part of life. That's tough. But that's because we're in this world, but not of this world. So this world's life does not pertain to us. We will never conform to the ways of this world. Okay? Because we seek a new a new heaven and a new earth, well and dwell righteousness. All right? And it's fast approaching. All right, verse 11, Yahushai said, Behold, I come quickly. Behold, meaning what? Watch, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, which is what? The, the promise, the faith, this truth, okay? That no man take thy crown. All right, so make it to the end, man. You just got to make it to the end. You got to overcome. All right? And we're fast approaching that test, man. Okay? So I'm a leader of their Lord, when you've been edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakhakodash, the water Yahab Bashim Yahushai, and until next time, Shalom.